Welcome back to the Jam Baseball channel for another trivia video. This one's brought to you by Under 510, and we have the first ever strikeout draft. We're replacing the homer draft with the strikeout draft. The rules are very similar. The players are going to draft five starting pitchers and three relievers from a specific division. You have to draft a starter from every team in that division, and when you draft your three relievers, you can't double up on a team. So there's going to be eight players total on each of our pitching staffs. It's me, Joe's McFly, and Shelfie. Shelfie's in the office, so he's going to be in the first two episodes of the Strikeout Draft. And today, we're starting with the National League East. Shelfie's Phillies, my Mets, Joe's McFly. Ooh. If you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the JM Baseball channel. Let's go. Joe's, would you, li would you like the first pick in the draft? I mean, Stanek. Why would I say no? <laughs> I'm going to go with a Marlin. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I would have done. And I'm going to go with Jose Fernandez. Yeah, good job. R.I.P. R.I.P. Uh, let's choose the correct year. 2012? I think that's a good pick. So, it's not a good pick because he didn't come up until 2013. Oh, 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 so, Jose Fernandez is off the board. He's just done so now. Do I Fuck. just have to guess somebody else? You, you yeah. guess somebody else. You don't need to go Marlon. I think you should just get a zero. Joe's, you blew it. All right. Oh, you blew All right, so I'll go, it. I'll, I'll, go, um, I'll go Marlon again. Okay. And I'll go with Sandy. Yeah. Okay. That, we have the same brain. This is exactly what I would Yeah, fun. I'll go with Sandy, and I'll choose, um, you know, you chose him. You bet for, you bet on him I bet. I to win the Cy Young. You want some money. I want 500 bucks doing Which that. caused you to bet the whole year. <laughs> um, and that, we're going to do 2022. I know Sandy's not, like, a huge strikeout guy, but, like, the number still has to be big. Has so, be. 2022, Sandy Alcantara had... 207 strikeouts. You absolutely, you I mean, absolutely take that. That's, that's a good. great first pick of the strikeout draft. All right, I'm also going to do a Marlin first. So then I'm doing I don't, I don't, last. I don't want to run. I, I don't have that many names for the Marlins. Mm. I'm going to go all the way back to 2003. Ooh. You're doing Josh Beckett. Yeah, yeah. nice okay. one. That's a good one. I'm Let's loving see. these. You guys are doing like great that. so far. I'm loving like these that. picks. 2003, Josh Beckett only pitched 142. Oh, oh, I missed it by a year, didn't I? One, 152 strikeouts. Uh, what was those season uh, strikeouts? Uh, 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 regular season only. His best uh, as a Marlin. Was it the year before or year after? 2005 with uh, 166. Uh, so uh, the okay. ceiling wasn't that high. Uh, I don't okay. think it's considered. I think I'll, I'm obviously. I think I'm going to do starters. Or is like, is it smart to do real, like good relievers first? How many good reliever seasons are in that's, the NL East? I think if you have one in your mind, maybe pull it. But like, don't just go reliever no, I, to I go got reliever. One. I got one. Let's do um. Let's do Edwin Diaz, 2022. Oh, he had a hundred, right? He had 118. Yeah, for so 2022. that's Edwin I think that's Diaz. worth it. I think that's definitely Pretty worth good. it. 118. Cool. All right, I like the that. The second best reliever possible. Not the best. Interesting. Hey. Who would be the best? There's a lot of good national season. I feel like I don't re necessarily need to do them. I mean, Scherzer won a Cy Young with the Nationals. Oh, we're name dropping now. I guess we're name dropping. Strasburg we're name dropping. There. I mean, we all know. Name dropping. Mind games. I think Scherzer Cy Young with them was 2016. So I'll go Max Scherzer, 2016 national. And that's a strikeout guy. That so, is a strikeout guy guy. Yep. Max Scherzer, just for your reference, won two Cy Youngs with them, 2016 and 2017. Yeah. How about that? In 2016, he had 284 strikeouts. Oh, good. oh His good. second best Yikes. in 2018, he had 300. Oh, wow. He wow. had a 300 with them? Jacob wow. deGrom just had like a 140 ERA that year, so he couldn't <laughs> Cy Young. That's fair. All right, I got yeah, to get the Sunday. year right on this one, and yeah. I'm probably not going to. I'm going to do relief pitcher Craig Kimbrell. Oh, that's who it is. The Braves, yeah. and I'm going to say. What's the year? I would have no idea what those are. I don't know. 2011. 2011 is the correct year. Wow. 127 wow. strikeouts. Yeah, Holy shit. That's Phillies, Craig. That was right sick. There. Damn. The oh, best sick. reliever on the board. Great work. I'll, I'll go starter for now. I think um, should, yeah. geez. I'm going to go with Atlanta. The whole team. <laughs> uh, and their whole history. <laughs> Thousands. <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> I want to get off Braves. There's a lot of good Braves seasons. They, I mean, there are. It's there. like, it's a weird mix of like, 
you don't want to pick the saturated teams, but at the same time, when you do pick them, you really can't mess it up. Yeah. Because, like, can't. everyone's going to get a good one from that team. You know what I mean? I'm going New York Mets. I'm going to go Jacob DeGrom. Yeah, that's a good pick. I think that's what I would have done. And let me go 2016 DeGrom. Mm. 17, 18, 19. <laughs> <laughs> I heard 16 first. So 2016 DeGrom, he had 143 strikeouts. I was say, there's a lot of injury landmines with that one. <laughs> I just think he's not DeGrom yet. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not, it might, it's it might not be over. Joe. I almost got that many case for my first reliever. It might reliever. not be yeah, over, Joe. It's, it's, it's cut. Don't give up. Actually, you know what? I'll pick. I'll go Marlin. No, I, we picked the Marlin. What am I talking about? I'll go National <laughs> for fun. Just another Marlin. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> I want to go Steve. Um, you know what? I'm going to go Steven Strasburg. Let's hop. Let's go ahead and take Steven Strasburg in 2015. Tully, please. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 155 in 2015. <sighs> Should I do the the, the stretch? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the World Series yes. year is the best one. Yes. The World Series year, he had 251 strikeouts. Uh-huh. In 2014, he had 242 strikeouts. I hate this. 2014? Yeah. 242 oh, you were one year off again. <laughs> I went 2003 on the first pick. I'm going to go more layup this time. Okay. Uh, can I do 2023 Atlanta Braves starter? Spencer Strider. Really good pick. Knew that was coming. Really good pick. 281. So that's oh! right. So you, you just erased my Scherzer pick. I, I had to. Yeah, Somebody had really to do good. it. Let's go Roy Halladay 2010. Okay, cool. All right. So you are not picking a Philly starter. Roy Halladay. You're after me. Let's take a look. So Cy Young season, he had 219 strikeouts. I think anything that starts with a two, you're happy about. It's yep. his only better season for the Phillies. He had 220. So cool. Got to be happy with cool. that. Cool. I'm happy with phenomenal. that. Phenomenal. Quick interruption on the strikeout draft to thank today's sponsor, which is Under 510, our first JM Baseball video sponsored by them. And they're near and dear to my heart because I am a short dude. You might be a short dude. And Under 510 specializes in wardrobe options for all of us short kings out there. Jeans, joggers, chinos, t-shirts, button downs, anything you can think of Under 510 has on their website. And some of their newest products are their best, including super soft joggers, ultra stretchy casual pants, and long sleeve t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right now. You can get a good look at it. It's pretty nice. Thank you to Under 510 for sending us some of their great product. You can check out some of their great product by clicking the link in our description and checking out some of the JM favorites. And of course, we have a deal for you. If you use code BASEBALL24, you can get a $10 coupon, $10 off your order of $150 or more plus free shipping. That's under510.com slash John Boy. Use code BASEBALL24. $10 off free shipping. It's a hell of a deal because they got a hell of a product line. Thank you to under 510 for sponsoring us today now let's get back to the video um okay so i have a nat and a philly i think i'm gonna save met because i i know enough good met seasons that i can just do mets and marlins here which means that i should do a brave so i don't know what to do should i double up on phillies do it give me your hat dude do it give out. me your what hat. relief are you taking man i'm gonna take there's a couple options Brad Lidge. Oh! I'm going to go Brad Lidge. Hi. 2008. Yes. 2008 Brad Lidge. It was perfect. Fourth in Cy Young voting. That what? Year. He was That's perfect. Ridiculous. 92 strikeouts. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm. What was he, 41 for 41 that year? Um, that was the year after. He, look, 41 the saves. Year, right? was really bad. Or yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. I am going to do. I don't I want to get the, the year wrong. Uh, Aaron Nola. Yeah, it's a good pick. 2019. I th- Yeah, that's probably the best one, right? I think. It might be the year of war. 2019 Aaron Nola had 229 strikeouts. Really good, man. It's his second best between 2022, where he had 235. So. Wow, he had 235? Right? He, he said it was 220, 220 every single year. He said it was 229? 229. That's really good. Underrated yeah. strikeout guy. Shit. I'm going to go with the Met. I'm going to take K-Rod in 2000. Oh. He's got to get the year right. K-Rod in 2005. Well, it's too early. He was an angel in 2005. Yeah, so K-Rod's off the board. He did it again. Can I get Cole Hamels? Good pick. What year? What year? What year? 
2009? 2009. Like what the, series? The little... You're mm, just... 168 strikeouts. Just, oh, what was... Was 08 like 190-something? Do, do you want me to do the stretch? Yeah. So, 08, 196, then 168, 211, 194, 216, 202. He had, he had a couple 200K years. Oh. We're going to do ALEs next. This is We're going to do ALEs <laughs> right <laughs> after this. this. So, I have an Atlanta starter... That I can take, or I could just do relievers with whoever the hell I want. Billy Wagner. The good news is if you get the gear wrong, he's just gone forever. Yeah, <laughs> no it's one. happened many times. <laughs> Let's choose him in 2003? He might be a Philly. Yeah, I think 2003, he was a, he was a Houston Astro. An Astro. He had was... 105 strikeouts. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Back iron again. 2004 oh. was his first year in the division. Where he bounced Phillies, Mets, Braves. He's there for a while, right? He's there for the rest of his career. I'll go back to the Braves. Okay. Glavin. <laughs> what, what year is it? What year is it? <laughs> can, I, can I get Glavin in like... Can you just pick a year for him? 2000. 2000, 2000 <laughs> Tom Glavin. He had 152 strikeouts. That's his best season oh, since 2000. No, uh, don't say that. The rest of the seasons that were more were in the uh, 90s. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't know what team this man was on in the year I'm about to spit out, but both teams he could be on are in the NL East. Okay. I'm going to say um, Jonathan Papelbon. Yep, yep. Good one. In 20... 14. 2014, Jonathan Papelbon was a Philly. He had 63 strikeouts okay. that Man, year. I was hoping he was on okay. the Mets. 2012, he had 92. Was with, he a Philly? With the, the Phillies. Phillies. Wow. So. That's good. Joe's, what should I do? I don't know. Figure it out. I hope I hope you I hope you pick a I hope you pick horrible years. That was so rude. Lucas, I'm gonna take a stab because I can only really think of one other Braves closer, and it was a guy that it was a starter for all of his career, and they moved him because he was getting hurt and old. Um, I don't know the year, but I know it was in the 2000s when they did this. Let's go John Smoltz, 2000. 2000 John Smoltz. Is he a starter or a reliever? Was injured all year. He had zero strikeouts that season. <laughs> did he pitch? He did not pitch one inning. Woo! So where do I put him? I'm a lie. You put him He's at the bottom. The I might just, I might just, <laughs> so, I might just lose. So I don't know, dude. So I, the I, next, I just, I just throw an air ball. With the that year ball. before he was a starter, the year after he was a reliever. <laughs> so I don't know if what you count him as. I would. I'm okay with you counting him as a reliever. Like you should do that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if I have a shot. Gee, so now there's only only <laughs> twice in this video series history has a person picked a player with zero, and it's been me both, both times. times. Oh, man. Fucking hell, Surprise dude. Me. He was hurt all year. They had a Fucking him. zero? They moved him to the bullpen because of that. He was a reliever for four years, and then he came back and was just like a sick fucking starter. Again. Joes, you're alive. <laughs> You're very, you're very much alive in this. So I'm gonna do my Met. I really have to get this right. There's a lot of good Met years for starters. There are some Cy Youngs. Um, I'm gonna do this guy because I know he got to above 200, and he's one of my faves. I'm gonna do the knuckleballer. I'm gonna do Ra Dickey. I'm gonna do 2012. So 2012, Ra Dickey had 230 strikeouts. Nice. That is the second best Met. Behind Jake DeGrom of it. Cool. So. Sweet. Glad I got my Met right. Um, <sighs> fuck that. That nah. sucked. That sucked ass. I it did it. You got 230 so, strikeouts. I got zero, Joes. He averaged zero. 115. It, all right, so I got free pick on my Met. Zero. What I can't believe you're third such a You're probably beating me do. now. Oh. I'm not going to beat you. I have zero here. Math is going to math. I'm not going to get zero. <laughs> But I am concerned that this next number is going to be even lower than the Papelbaum one because I am completely blanking on other relievers that haven't been said. I'm going to do 2022 Kyle Finnegan. Oh, a Nat? Nat. Whoa. 2022 Kyle Finnegan had 70 strikeouts. That's Something like, uh, what the fuck? That Adam was crazy. Adam in fantasy. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, let me get Sean Doolittle in 2018. Oh, good call. Oh, that's, that's why, why, that's why that's I should have won. 
2018 Sean Doolittle had 60 strikeouts. You take that. That's fine. I mean, Kyle Finnegan coming in there with it. Kyle. Um, <laughs> You're out. <laughs> You're out. That's crazy. There's a Marlin closer that I'm thinking about. I can't think. I, dude, I, I can't think of a There's one blanket on my head. I can't get it out of my head. c -shack. That's it. That is it. Steve Sheesh. These are insane. What year? <laughs> These are insane names. <laughs> We're going to do C. Uh, I mean, he's, got a, he's got a gold Marlins card he in MLB The Show. Really that's good. so nasty. Oh, that's, that's where you I guys know. are getting he's this like, shit from. That makes perfect <laughs> sense. Nasty. That makes so much sense. Um, 2019? That feels too late. He's a cub. He's a cub. Oh, God. How about for the Phillies? And I get uh it's it's gotta be Hector Neris because I didn't oh. when I went to Philly. I forgot about that. When Hector I went Neris. to Philly, I didn't understand why the Philly fans hated him. Yep. Let's go 2021, Neris. I'm taking him for the Phillies. 98 strikeouts, Damn. baby. Damn. So well, was 2019. So 20, I would have said 2019. 2019, he had 89. That's what I 2016, he actually added 102. Yeah. But 98. Underrated I mean, Hector Neris numbers, man. I'm telling you. Wow. Can't tell you how many times the infield he's, he's blew a strikeout a guy. And he'd yeah. get the blame for it. Yeah, the he's splitter. A and he was, he was in his prime with the Phillies when they had the worst defensive infield in the league. Well, they had the worst like, defensive so infield match. and they had the worst bullpen and he was the only good reliever. The only one. Yeah, yeah. that's what I would say. He kept, that's why I want him back on the Phillies now because yeah. I feel like in the seventh, eighth inning role, he'd be so much better. If he better. was in a situation where he would be the setup guy, he would be below. Way better. Dickey's off the board. Scherzer's off the board. DeGrom's off the board. I'm not confident in Zach Wheeler's health. Oh. And I am not 100% sure what years Johan Santana was with the Mets. So oh. I'm going to take... Oh! I'm going to go lay up here and I'm going to say 2023 Senga. Oh, that's a good pick. He got 200. Yeah. Right? 2023 Kodai Senga had 202 strikeouts. So I, Santana probably had some really nice years. Yeah, I think so, but I, I don't want to get the year like, wrong. Oh, maybe his first year, like 07, I think he might have been really good. I can't pick him now, so I'm just spitballing. Yeah, that's why I threw it out there. You guys can't take a Mets starter. So I have t two starter picks left to make, a Marlin and a Rave. I'll do my Marlin because no, I've had it for a while. No. I'm going to go with my guy guy. A guy that I love and thought was going to be dominant for years. I'm going to go Dontrell Willis. Oh. Okay. Now, I know yeah. he, he's a rookie in 03, which means he might have not pitched the whole season. So I'm a little scared to pick that. And I know I did a video on him. So I what know a he World was Series. Good. This is good for a couple years after. Let's go Dontrell Willis, 2004. 2004, Dontrell Willis had 139 strikeouts. That is not as many <laughs> as I thought. That was gosh, I can play it safe here on my last pick. 139? I really don't want to pick Max Freed because I know it's not him, but he's all I can think of. Max Freed, 20, 21? 21. 2021, Max Freed had 158 strikeouts. It's, okay. it's hashtag over. All right. It might not be. In 2019, oh. I'm going to say Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin's a good pick. So Patrick Corbin in 2019 had... Don't say two. 238 <laughs> oh, strikeouts. What? He won. It's over. Joe's make your last pick for fun. I mean, fun. do I have to? Make like, your last pick for fun. I, Complete the board. Jerry Blevins. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was going to yeah. tell you to do. Good Let's job. Go Jerry Blevins. Go, uh, Don't get the year wrong. Go again. 20... <laughs> 20, don't say 15 because he's hurt. Do 2016. Let's do Jerry Blevins, 2016. Give me Jerry Blevins, please. 52 strikeouts. Yeah. yeah. Joe's, I love that. I was going to tell you, like, hey, can you do Jerry? And you just did it by yourself. That's I was awesome. thinking about nice. The whole time I was thinking Jerry, like, I was yeah. just like, let me Hell do yeah, let's do it. All right, so in last place, uh, Joe's McFly with 1,035 total strikeouts. Sounds like a lot. Yeah. Jolly. I mean, considering you had a zero and your last few picks weren't that great, uh, you had 1,240 strikeouts. I'll take that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Good. I'm okay with that. And then Shelfie, 122 beyond you with 1,362 <laughs> not strikeouts. Close. Well, his last two picks were both over 200. <laughs> this Yours were a, both under 160. You so. getting Corbin at the end was huge. Fellas, first good strikeout stuff. draft, good showing. I think we rounded out well. Shelfie, a, a dominant performance, but that means we'll, we'll just have to do it again. See if yeah, we can do it the next time. That's yeah. insane. This is my domain here. No Phillies next time. you got to mix up divisions. Phillies. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Bye.